<laughs> you got my nose for? You want a from hi. Hello everyone, it's Chloe here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today is currently Monday. It is currently 4.11. I'm saying this very, very late, but happy Monday. <laughs> All I did this morning was go do some shopping with the parents and then I came home and I got ready to film and I filmed a clothing haul today and then I have just been kind of buying a lot of things online. My battery's going to die. Freaking fantastic. And now I have to clear my room because obviously once I film a video, it's a mess. But I do want to show you a couple of things, but I'm going to change my battery because your girl forgot to charge it. But if you want to know what happens in this very, very boring weekly vlog, I can tell you that right now. Just keep on watching. Basically, I filmed a video today and there's a bunch of shit going on over here. I have to actually package a return parcel because some of the stuff did not fit me and it didn't look cute. But one thing I really want to show you guys is my new and improved wall artwork thing. <laughs> In my last vlog, if you haven't seen it, it was literally last time I vlogged. There was a massive gap on my wall next to all the black and white photos and I was like, I'm going to do something special. And I finally did that something special because I was waiting for it to come in the mail. And I'm pretty sure now, after I clean everything up I'm gonna film a room tour video basically I bought two massive picture frames and two movie posters and I've sucked them on the wall and I'm just excited to show you guys <laughs> How exciting is this? So I have 10 things ahead about you. Obviously it's Heath Ledger, my favorite film of all time. And underneath it I have Umbrella Academy number two. So it is a little bit dark, but this is basically what my back wall looks like now, I guess. The frames are from Kmart and the posters are both from Redbubble. But this is the 10 things ahead about you. And this one is Umbrella Academy number two. I preferred the second season post over the first one. That's why I bought the second one. This is my new and improved little area. This is honestly my favorite part of my room now with the bookshelf and the pop vinyls and everything. Cat is a goddamn mood right now. Like I'm just so excited to have movie posters because I've always wanted movie posters, TV show posters, whatever in my room. But it always looked so weird when I'm like stuck them together with blue tacks. So I'm like I'll frame them, hang them up and here we are. And I'm just really really excited and just seeing Heath in like a blown up version is so good. I originally wanted to get the Dark Knight poster but like everyone wanted to buy that shit so I didn't buy it because it was sold out everywhere. But that's pretty much anything really really new with my room. But like I said I had to pack up a return order. I have a couple clothing items to return. Either they didn't fit or they just don't look good on me. I just bought more books, but what else is freaking new? If you guys saw my last vlog, you guys know I bought a bunch more in that vlog, but I bought more this vlog as well. But I also bought something very exciting is I bought the Umbrella Academy comics. Obviously the show, if you're a massive fan of the show, it's based off the comics if no one's realized. So I bought all three. I bought the deluxe version, so it's like a beautiful hardcover and it's just, I'm just so excited to have them. I do want to talk about books a little bit before I clean anything. Hopefully you guys enjoy books. I don't know if you do. Basically I have read two of the books that I showed in my last vlog. I read them both in two days. That's also fun isn't it? It's so hard to get books out of your bookshelf with these long ass claws. Oh my god someone complimented my nails today as well. She's like did you do them yourself? I'm like I wish honey. So I read these two books. So I read this one first because I was most excited for this. And this is only mostly devastated. This is the spin-off version of Grease but it's a LGBT Q plus version. This shit is really really cute. I love teenage love story type of shit because I'm lonely. So I just honestly really liked reading this. I don't know. I think it has a good meaning behind it. It's very very similar to Grease but like it isn't. They have a summer fling. That's really the only thing that is very similar to Grease but again I think when you talk about summer flings the first thing that comes to mind is Grease. So anyways. But I tabbed a couple of these pages. I really do recommend this if you love like romance novels that are like kind of shitty. Not shitty but like you know like those movies that are kind of like really bad romance films but like everyone loves them. I feel like this is it but this is a really good written book. Really highly recommend this. I read this one last night. I finished this one last night. Started it on Saturday. Finished it yesterday which is Sunday. This is They Both Die at the End. I actually bought a bunch of other books because I really enjoy his writing style. If you can't tell by all the excessive tabs I have that just prove the fact that I really like his writing. This shit I bawled my eyes out. I showed you guys my last vlog. I showed you a photo of me crying. This shit is absolutely devastating, but it has such a good meaning of basically just living your life to the absolute fullest. Absolute stunning meaning. I prefer this one over this one, I think. I just love it. I just love it, period. I have a couple more parcels coming in the mail, but I don't have a lot like I did last vlog. So this vlog, I'm mostly focusing on me like meal prepping and stuff. So today, like this week's going to be like a cooking type of video. But I'm going to clean up a bit. I'm going to package these parcels up and then I'm going to clean up a bit. That's pretty much everything. So let's clean up and I will just say, this day takes us, I guess. Hello 
I vlog. I've just like forgot I vlogged today, so sorry. But I'm cooking everyone's dinner right now. I'm about to put pasta in this, but I decided to film it. I'll probably spill it everywhere because a five kilo bag. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna make this and then I'm gonna update you a bit later. I think we have wrestling to watch, so you might watch that. I don't know. Oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay. The fudge koi. I made this. Excuse me? I made it. You did not. Can you say something interesting so I can actually keep it in the I don't know what to say. What do I say? I open it. I don't know what I'm doing. This is wide. It's not. Rumble butt. Pretty doodle. Say W time. Woo! Woo! Yeah. All right. Oh, for shit's sake. What? That doesn't count. That was stupid. You've got nice shoes. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Oh, what a beautiful man. Hey, pal. I'm very loud. Shut up. Oh, you got a pie hole. Do you like this camera angle, Dad? You're a gentleman. <laughs> Stop. Shut the fudge up. Cool. Exciting. <laughs> dude, I want to know that dude's Instagram because he's stunning. Yes, you're too afraid of me to try me from the front. <laughs> Look at in labor. You were wearing an American flag tie. You don't have anything to say, bitch. Five million people that care about the future of this business. Are you high? The badass. Okay. Thanks, Nina. Justin was interrupted. Rude. Oh, that's and this ain't TikTok. Calm down. What, what are you dancing for? Oh, poor Brad. Wait, can Marco Polo come in? Dude, he is so massive to fit him. Why is he losing? You got this. Poor Brad. Oh my god. What was that? This is weird. Jungle boy. Come on. Oh my god, just get up. It's very slow, isn't it? This is a weird match. Can you take. Calm down. What was that? What is this? Maybe don't steal someone else's move. I have no idea who's legal. Get him. Is that it? Oh, it was? Oh, come Oh. oh, I love this man. He has terrible style. What is this? Oh, I don't like the way he's smiling. Oh, I love love, bitch. Sorry? Okay. So what is that, honey? Here we go. Come on. Oh, my God. That would sting. That's so stupid, but so good. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. No. What was the point of that? I could do that, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Ah, come on, boy. That was weird. Oh. I am. Come on, Mum. They're kicking a football. What else am I to look at? Uh oh, oh hey, pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, I don't like him anymore. Oh. Oh my God. Love you, Cass. You just poured alcohol on carpet. Wait, is he actually okay? He really hasn't moved though, guys. Don't be mean to Brian. Um, he's like 60. Leave him alone. Oh, hello. We well, thank you for being with us on a Saturday. Welcome, JR. Haven't said hi. It's 11 o'clock on a Tuesday. This poster fell. Ignore the gap, but I just got parcels. This is a Booktopia order and I have another QBD order. These are all books. Surprise? Not really. These are the rest of my Richard Castle collection. Oh. I have three more <laughs> Richard Castle books. This is Naked Heat. This is Raging Heat and Heat Wave. And then I'm waiting for Heat Rises, which is still on back order. I don't like this packaging, but this is from QBD. Can you not clean my room while you're in here? There's six books in here. There was meant to be seven, but they're like, oh, one sold out. So I bought it from Booktopia. That's fun. Oh, 
that's really colourful. These are all from the same author. And these are Alice Oseman, I'm pretty sure. So look how pretty these are. So I have Loveless. I have I Was Born For This. I also have Radio Silence. So exciting. They're going to look so pretty. And then I bought the entire Heartstoppers collection. These are actually graphic novels, which is kind of good because I actually bought the Umbrella Academy comics. I think I mentioned that. So I'm like, I kind of have to get into reading comics. But this is Heartstopper Volume 1. This is Heartstopper Volume 2. And then number three. So I have the entire little series. Like, that's so pretty. Like, look at that. Oh my god, that's so fun. And again, this is the same author as these three. Oh, I'm so excited. But that's my little order for today. I don't think anything else is coming, but I'm waiting on a couple other things. All I've done this morning is finish editing my weekly vlog, which you guys saw. May have Whoa! That's my little bit of an update. Again, it's very, very boring. I'm sorry, because I'm not doing this editing. Hi everyone. It's almost 12:30. Oh, it's okay. basically lunchtime. I'm gonna have my meal prep. Do you wanna say hi? Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Whoa! Do you wanna say hi to all your fans? No. Meal prep. It's literally just red grapes and carrots and an apple. And we're gonna eat lunch with the fam bam. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this and I'll update you guys later. Hi everyone. Here's dad. Ah! <laughs> That's my baby! Give me the cookie. For fuck's sake, stop! Cora's playing Last of Us. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm. Father and I. What time is it? It's 1.49. Father and Shoot. I. Over here. There's mine. Are yeah. going to watch Summer Slam. Summer Slam? Yeah. Yeah, Summer Slam. I don't even know if she's watching. No, I don't. We haven't watched wrestling in a very long time. Oh, we haven't watched yeah. WWE in a long time. We watched WrestleMania. That was it. It was kind of shit this year. Anyways, not the point. Yay! Woo! Hello. Happy Wednesday. I bought an iPad. <laughs> Corey's doing my head in, so please ignore how angry I'm looking. Yeah, I bought an iPad. This is the seventh generation. I don't know what that means. <laughs> and then I got the keyboard that goes with it. This is heavy. And then I got the pen. This shit is so expensive. Oh, that's a good size. That looks so sophisticated. I'm a pretty shit vlogger. I'm sorry. It's currently 10 o'clock on Thursday. So happy Thursday I did just want to pop in and basically just clear up a few things Because I basically just randomly bombarded with you guys saying that I bought an iPad yesterday and just didn't vlog anything at all after that So I apologize. I don't want to talk about this beautiful bad boy <laughs> I bought an iPad and a case and the keyboard and the pen. So this is the iPad 7th generation I'm pretty sure this is like 132 gigabytes because
because I bought it to use for YouTube and making thumbnails and doing annotations and just keeping my life in check. So this is basically my entire life for my YouTube now. This is a 10 inch screen so it's like not huge but it's like not tiny either. I wanted a decent sized screen but one thing I just bought last night was Procreate. I did a couple drawings. I basically just wanted to get a hang of Procreate before I actually did anything with my YouTube videos. Ignore the lighting it's really weird. So I decided to do like outline drawings that everyone does basically like this. You know how people like outline that in colour? Yeah I wanted to do that. So I made one of myself which this was my first ever time doing it. It's not the best as you can see on the screen. It's not the best but it's like a really old photo of mine. But then I did one for Annalisa and I. This is a photo from me and her from my birthday. This is my first like proper time of doing it and then I was watching NXT with dad while doing this. So it was really fun just to do it. I did one of grandma and I absolutely love this. In the original photo of grandma you've probably seen it on my wall. Her hands on her chin. It's a lot harder to do that with color blocking. I don't I don't want to do anything else besides eyebrows because I can't draw. I really can't draw. So this for me is like the best alternative to drawing and then I did one for Frank and I because obviously Frank had to have one and I did this last night. Honestly it's pretty sick. This is a photo of me and him from my birthday. So oh no I made it red. Basically this is like my workstation now I guess and I really wanted to get an iPad and like treat myself and do something for my job because this is my job and I feel like this is a good investment for anyone that has jobs even if you're in school. I just wanted to come on this vlog and say I got an iPad. Woohoo. Definitely treat yourself if you have the money treat yourself. I just wanted to jump on here and tell you guys this because I feel like I just left it yesterday very cut straight nothing about this iPad and why I got it. So anyways I'm gonna go do some work and I'll see you guys I don't know when but I'll see you guys soon. I haven't vlogged at all, but it's like almost 9 p.m. and watching Gogglebox. Ooh, it's dark. Hi. And we're losing the football. What is that? These guys are sick. They're as sick as the shit on their head. Looks <laughs> 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 incredible. That's shit. <laughs> hey. oh. Oh. Please You're get tested chocolate? if you have any of these symptoms. Fever, runny nose, chocolate. sore throat, and then stay home until you get your results. Yes. Hello everyone, I'm in the pantry. Good morning, it's Friday. All I did this morning, what time is it? I think it's 11 o'clock. All I done this morning is done a bunch of work. You guys saw I wrote down a bunch of stuff on my iPad this morning. But I was gonna start making keto brownies right now, but I am craving my great grandma's lemon slice and I really want it, but we don't have half the ingredients. So, mum said she wanted to go get something from the shops. Do you want me to make a Mars bar slice? I'm just in the mood to cook today. Hello, knock it down. Knock knock. <laughs> honk honk. Honky, honk honk honk. honk. Yeah. It's 1.22. Father and I just went to the shops and we got all the ingredients that I need to make my thing. So I'm making the lemon slice, which is great granny's recipe. Oh my god. I'm also making a Mars bar slice that dad used to have but hasn't had it in ages and it's a family recipe as well. I have an apron with lemons on it. I'm gonna put this on. Oh my god, look how cute I am. <laughs> so let's get started. Yay. Woo! Hello friend, 
means the lighting is so bad. What time is it? It's 2.34. I've made the bases for both the lemon slice and the Mars bar slice. I'm going to go help mum with her books now, like reorganizing it because she wants to reorganize her books now. So I'm going to show you a bit of time lapse of that. And then I'm going to come back and do the toppings for both the lemon and the Mars bar. I have to melt some chocolate and some butter for the Mars bar. And then for the lemon one, I just have to make a lemon icing. I almost slept on our cat, so that's fun. If anyone has ever wondered where I get my shopping ability for books from not me it's this one we're in mum and dad's oh bedroom this is mum's little book collection you can't even see the bottom shelf so that's fun but there's some here too which you can't see there you go so if anyone nope. thinks my collection's bad welcome to mum we're gonna do a time lapse of us sorting this out do you have any final words mum help me <laughs> everyone welcome back it's 3:46. excuse the lighting i'm so sorry but we just finished mum's little rearranging but she also like unhauled a lot of books which mum has never done before like ever i don't think so we have all of this for me to go through and then i'm gonna pick and choose some books that i find interesting and the rest will be donated mum's got about nine cubes empty now it looks the same there's a lot more room if you can't tell mum's favorite genre of books is like australian country and then over there behind her is more but they're more like box sets excuse me go cement somewhere else Hello friends, welcome back to the vlog. I feel like I've been very, very silent in this day, but I've been very productive today. But it's currently 5 to 17. I've just done all like the topping, icing, whatever for the slices. And I am back in my little section to tell you guys what books I got from mum. Mum got rid of maybe 20-ish books. I did pick four. And these are the ones I chose. So this is the Grave Secrets by Kathy Reach. Reach? Reaches? But this is the author of the Bones series. And Bones is one of my favorite shows of all time and i really want to actually get the bone series but i want to know how her writing works like her style of writing is and i thought i would read this because mum already had it so i'm like you know what i'm gonna read this and then this is the hate you give i've always wanted to read this i haven't seen the movie or anything but i love the concept of this i think you guys probably have heard of this oh my god there's a quote at the back sometimes you do everything right and things will still go wrong the key is to never stop doing right that right there is the quote of the day <laughs> and these two i've never heard of those two i have but these two i've never heard of before so these are like different <laughs> i guess um so this is the lucky one by carolyn over nineteen. Um, it's basically a unsolved mystery murder type of vi video book really i don't have any murder mysteries besides castle someone's coming daddy do you want to say hi he put the finger up so that's nice i love you I'm very excited to read this and this cover is absolutely stunning this is the binding i actually really kind of enjoyed the blurb and the meaning of this so i'm really excited to read this and like the cover is stunning let's be honest that is everything i chose from like what mum was getting rid of today but i've always wanted to read sarah j mass's novels because everyone keeps raving about her stuff and how her writing style is like perfection now i was gonna buy her entire throne of glass series but my mother had some of them in box sets and she gave them to me so there's only five of them i have the sixth one here but i did buy the other ones i think there's like three more maybe two more i got them off booktober they're coming soon and i also bought her other collection the rose one i think it's called but this is everything i think she got this from big w ages ago so we've got throne of glass crown of midnight hair of fire queen of shadows and the assassin's blade i'm reading off the back i'm so sorry but i'm really really excited to finally read some of sarah j's work and you know maybe like it maybe hate it who knows so i'm gonna have dinner probably soon not sure what i'm gonna have and then for dessert i'm gonna cut up the slices i made so i'll show you guys what the slices look like but yeah that is the end of this section of the video but probably update you guys somewhat soon it's 6 30 i've just cut up the mars bar slice for everyone to eat this is really nice Corey was getting impatient is the lemon slice i feel like i'm
been vlogging in the same position, in the same clothes, in the same style of hair. It's currently Saturday, I almost said Friday, but it is Saturday. It's 1.10. Haven't done anything. Today is an off day for me. I feel like no one in this house wants to do anything today. We're like, we're not in the mood to do anything. So I haven't worked at all today. Like, I haven't edited one bit. I need to. Haven't done any of it. But one thing I've been putting off is redoing my bookshelf. I have to organize it a bit more. I feel like my channel is all about books nowadays. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about my shelf a little bit, show you guys an overview, and I'm going to do a time lapse of me doing it all. This is the current state of my bookshelf. Don't look at those two bottom shelves. Have to figure that shit out. Uh, it's not the prettiest, if you couldn't tell. Okay, so this is the first shelf. This is pretty neat. I don't know if I'm going to keep this, like, as it is. I have two 11 pot vinyls. Oh my god! She's standing, it's fine. I bought this because I wanted to buy a 11 pot vinyl that had no hair to like signify me shaving my head. I'm weird. So that's that pot vinyl and this one is just too cool not to have. This is her levitating. This shelf is disgustingly bad. Oh, let's skip that shelf for a second. This just has a couple of bits and bobs. These are like my recent buys. I think I bought, showed you guys in this vlog actually. That shelf down there is Shadowhunters. Um, so I have to figure that shit out. And then I have poetry down there. So I honestly don't know what I'm doing. So I guess let's start this little time lapse. I'm gonna put some music on, don't I? What tune should we put on, guys? Let's put on my bad bitch vibe playlist. I have new playlists on my Spotify. Link down below, like always. I just fixed my bookshelves and I hate them. But I'm not like thinking too much ahead of it because again, I'm going to be changing them when my other books come in the mail. So I, I just wanted to put them in the shelf so they have space. It looks the same to you guys. <laughs> These two shelves are so weird. And over here I have my Sarah J Mass books that mum gave me. I'm so annoyed with the fact that one of them's blue and the rest are white. But we're not going to be picky about this shit, okay? Even though I have been the entire time I did this. And then down here is the rest of my Shadowhunters. And those are like biographies, I guess from like celebrities and shit but i don't want to edit one little thing for me i don't want to edit right now so i'm going to put all my pop vinyls back up and go sit in the lounge room and watch Corey play last of us and read i haven't started a new book since i finished they both die at the end because that shit hurt my soul but this is the hating game this was so recommended by literally everyone on youtube so i want to read it i'll keep you updated with whatever i do but i'm gonna go read now Welcome back. It's currently Sunday. It's just past 12 p.m. And I got another delivery at the door. I didn't know this was coming today until like five minutes ago. This is my big W order. This is all booked once again <laughs> but this morning i didn't really update you i've been editing all morning but i did show you guys i had a little parcel this morning i finally got this in the mail this is solitaire by alice oseman to go with the other three that i have from her so i have all these now but now i have this big ass box to open basically i got like three cassandra claire books a bunch of my disney books and then the percy jackson's box set i don't know why i bought that i just wanted to read it for some unknown reason i'll do cassandra claire first but this is Chain of Gold, The Last Hours, book one. This is the Collector's First Edition. Don't know if that means anything. This is a stunning cover. Oh my god, I haven't heard anything about this, so kind of intrigued. Then I got Ghost of the Shadow Market, again by Cassandra Clare and a bunch of other people. This is the cover. Excuse the glare, I apologize. And then this one is The Red Scrolls of Magic, Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu. But yeah, so I have three new Cassandra Clare novels. Okay, so this is the Percy Jackson's box set of of five books. Look how pretty that looks. I'm so excited to put that on my shelf. Oh my god. And then the next few things are kind of what I'm really, really excited for. So these are the ones I already have in my shelf. So these are the Disney ones that have a horror twist to them. I have Sleeping Beauty, I have Aladdin, and I have Beauty and the Beast already. And I realized I haven't had the other set. Like there's like more to the set. So I got the rest of the set because BW had them all in stock. So I got them. So this is a part of your world. This is Ariel's version. This is what if Ariel had never defeated Ursula. So this is So This Is Love. This is What If Cinderella Never Tried on the Glass Slipper. I feel like everyone has an image of what Disney movies are because obviously for me growing up I always watched them. My nose is really red. Sorry. And I know like them from the back of my hand. So I'm really excited to read these and see the Disney films in a different light. Does that make sense? This is Mirror Mirror. Oh that's so pretty. This is What If the Evil Queen Poisoned the Prince. So I don't know if you'll be able to tell but it's like really shimmery. And then this one is Reflection. This is What If Mulan Had to Travel 
to the underworld but like look how pretty these covers are and the last one i have is let it go which obviously is frozen so this is what if anna and elsa never knew each other i don't know i think this is really cool i like how these look i feel like out of everything i got to say this is what i'm most excited for oh i'm so excited so that is my little haul of the day so i think next time i'm gonna update you is when i meal prep i'm kind of excited i feel like i'm buying way too many books and you probably hate me for it but my bank account hates me more quite literally the worst vlogger in my time period hi everyone welcome back to the vlog i'm gonna end the vlog now i do just want to apologize for not vlogging much and the last thing you saw was me having a shower it's currently thursday i didn't vlog anything prior to what i last did because i started getting cramps which obviously meant i had my period which obviously meant i wouldn't be able to move for the next couple days i get the worst period cramps of all time so i just didn't vlog because i couldn't move like i physically could not move when i have my period i know a lot of people can't either so yay for that but i just didn't vlog because didn't have energy couldn't move to get my camera and i didn't do anything anyway i just edited because i couldn't move from positions so i'm like you know what i'll sit in my computer chair and just edit because i can't move anyway but i'm like i'm like the last bit of it so i'm okay now still a bit eh, but i do just want to end the vlog because i haven't ended it officially because i'm starting to edit it right now but i do just want to show you guys some more books because i got some more books in the mail so um ignore the way i look in my pajamas but again i'm on my period so like this is like the best you're going to get sorry about it but i showed you guys these books on my instagram i actually got a booktopia order yesterday or the day before so these are all from booktopia so i'm just going to quickly show you what they are and then i'm going to end the vlog officially i got the carry on series by rainbow rowell rowell i don't know how to pronounce people's names if you couldn't tell but this is the first copy this is the second of so the two-part series apparently this one is better than this one so i'll have to see for myself but i got those and then after reading they both die at the end by Adam Silva Severa so whatever you know what I mean I wanted to buy some more of his books because I really liked his style of writing so I bought two I bought History is All You Left to Me and More Happy Than Not these are both by Adam I don't really know what this is about I just bought it because I really enjoyed his style of writing so I'm really excited to try that out and then I have this one this was like a last minute book to pick up this is You Were Made For Me I'm a really like sappy reader I love cute romantic shit that's why I love romance films because I'm so single I need romance and novels and TV shows and movies to fill that void that I don't get from people okay this is actually signed by the author which is very very exciting so this is like my pride and joy even if the book's shit I'm still gonna like keep it because it is signed so I'm very excited for that I've heard so much good things about this book and I put it on my Instagram and someone said it was really good as well because they're currently reading it so this is red white and royal blue I'm just excited like I, I, I'm just excited for books you know and these are all by Becky Alitali sorry if I can pronounce the name wrong these are all the same person that wrote love simon um, but this is leah on the offbeat and then i also got but this is a much smaller version all from the simon verse novels these are all the other ones so i just bought this one i already had this one this is love simon and i actually ended up buying the original copy of the book if you guys know i did read this which is love simon but i bought this from like bw or came out when the movie came out so obviously this is the movie title and the movie cover but this is the original so i've already read this but i had to buy this to go with her other books i know it sounds crazy so i bought that one as well and then this i already have this as well this is to all the boys i loved before i already had this but again i bought it when the movie came out on netflix so i have the movie version i also have the other two so number two and three this doesn't go with it on the shelf so you see what i mean like if i put it together it looks like shit and if i bought the new version which matches up very well this is just matte this is just shiny it matches up i am crazy about this 
shit when it comes to my shells. I never used to be, but then I bought them all and now I have to make it look cute. And then the last one I have is apparently a really shit book, according to most people on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok. But I bought it for myself because I wanted to see what I thought about it. This is What If It's Us by Becky and Adam, the same people I literally just showed you books from. from the Love Simon book and also the They Both Die in the End book. They lay this like the. Oh, just breathe, Chloe. Jesus. Let me start that again. These are from the same authors as Love, Simon, and They Both Die in the End, which is the two books I got from Adam as well as Becky. This is a hardcover. It's actually pretty thicker than I thought it was going to be, but it's just really pretty, and I'm actually really excited to read this because everyone hates it. I'm like a sappy romance lover, so I'm really excited to see if I like this or not. But that is all the books I recently got, which I didn't actually vlog. But I do want to apologize for not vlogging. I just obviously am not feeling the best. I'm so sorry I didn't vlog much, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog either way. And I hope you guys enjoy me talking about books because I feel like no one enjoys it but I really like reading and I really like talking about this stuff. I did just finish literally this morning. I just finished The Hating Game. My friend Megan actually couldn't finish this because she didn't enjoy it. I like it but at the start it was very very slow for me. Like I wanted it to like hurry up you know. I don't know it was a bit iffy at the start but then there were like three chapters of sex scenes so I'm just like great. <laughs> I'm just gonna read three chapters of them having sex for the first time which obviously yeah like I, I can deal with like a chapter of sex scene but this was like going on and on but I, I like the ending actually I preferred the ending over the whole book the ending was really good but you need the whole book to understand the ending it makes sense but you know what I mean but I did just finish this I do enjoy it but there's some things I would change about it so just letting you guys know I started this about two days ago and I didn't show you guys so I feel like if I do tell you guys what I'm reading in a vlog and how I finish it I'll give you a review because you guys actually want me to do reviews on books now but I feel like not everyone's going to enjoy them so I'm probably going to feature them in vlogs hopefully you guys don't mind that but i'm gonna go because i need to go heat up a heat pad and die of pain but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like give it a thumbs up for me if you're new here please subscribe make two videos a week guys every monday and thursday all my social media links and everything i've mentioned in this video will be linked down below like always remember to spread love and stay positive and i'll see you guys in my next one bye everyone